What's happening, party people? What's happening? What's up, what's up? I'm your host with the most. As you know, Mr. Ron, a.k.a. The Awe. And this is the G-Man, a.k.a. Akuma. Oh, Akuma's back. Yeah, you didn't use that a.k.a. for a minute out there. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Akuma, what you got for us today, my man? Today, wow, we got something amazing. Uh... Uh, Amazing? Yes, I would say this is the model that all female rappers should look up to. Oh! Because the female MC got lost over the years, over the past two decades. So that's the, the main model. The Generation 1 MC Light. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why I say Gen 1, it's because many artists over the years, they have like different phases and the Gen 1 the MC Light was the ultimate, the hungriest, the craziest. 1989, from the album Eyes on This, Slave to the Rhythm. Let it flow, my man, let it flow. What you got for me? I'm slight, slave to the rhythm. Mm -hmm, wow, mm -hmm. the j originality. MC Light, it has to be the model. You need a model for everything. It's like in Terminator, there was a, the a original, template, a, a template, template, originator. And yes, Roxanne Shanti was a battle rap freestyle you know battle rap kind of artist mm -hmm. she has a respect mm -hmm. much respect yeah but wait a minute don't doesn't she have a movie on netflix yes uh it's a really good movie you gotta check it yeah, out yeah yeah but when we review one of her classic that has to be in the 40 years of hip-hop we will talk about that damn now right, let's focus right. as the ultimate female mc to my my opinion mc light generation one that's from the, the two first albums, uh, Light as Rock and Eyes on This. Yeah. That was the first mold of MC Light, the Hungry Light, the Terrible Light. Yeah, Light DMC. And the original bad, Battle Rhyme Girl, mm -hmm. Light's uncensored, uncensored lyrical matter subject was the illest. She had no filter, you know, that first, gender, that first model. And the ultimate female MC being a slave to the rhythm. For that, the whole song, the concept, you know, my name is G5. No, shut your mouth. No, don't start the review with a five. I will quit. For originality, she deserves a five for that track. Ah! Per please, party people, please. Talk to this guy, comment, comment, please. At the end of the review, you will understand why. And this is will, madness. And you will become a slave to the rhythm. Too. A five is perfection. This is a track from 1989. And it's still perfect We're until We're in 2019. That's 30 let's, years. Let's hear what you have to say. Damn. First of all, um originality wise for that track it is an original track for 1989 okay mm -hmm. um light is dope for 1989 but when we you review know? you have to take this into consideration i do i do take it into consideration and i also take into consideration that we are in 2019 mm -hmm. And can that track hold up and you know be compared to any kind of track? Definitely, definitely. Oh. If you know how to read or listen. I can I, I will tell you. Listen I will to tell the you lyrics. my man. I will give it a three for originality. Man. For the fact that it's a fast paced battle rhyme. Yeah. And no one put would put that on their album. Mm -hmm. Not as an album track. I know, that's true. You know, they would use it on a mixtape. Mixtape. That's what makes it original. Um, she did. Show, concert. That's you true, know, that's true. Just to battle other whack MCs. But as an album track, I was like, that's daring. It was the best track on that album, Eyes on This. 
It was dope, though. It was dope. The best? I don't know. Because there's some gems up in that album. Yes, for sure. The album is a classic. Cha -cha -cha. I know this. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. I know. But these were the hits, and people paid attention to these. They never listened to Slave of the Rhythm. I'm sure they browsed it. They never took the time because me over the years I listened to the album, and at first too I was like, "Oh, cappuccino, that was the joint, mm -hmm. cha cha cha." But then cappuccino. a few years later, yeah. I said, "Let me take a listen, a real deep listen," cappuccino. and that's where I discovered I was like, "Yo, I, that song was the dopest." It didn't come out as a single. No, that's it why no, it four years of hip hop represent the real good hip hop. Like if it's a Mergadian and you have a history, we will our capsule video. Capsule will be history and restate what was real hip hop. We'll see about that. We will see about that party people. So as for delivery, lyrics and flow, what you? But I didn't brother? get your uh, for which Oh yeah, your I three. I told you. I, That's I, true. The three. I hit a three. I was so Solid to my track. five zones. Solid. Of course, you're in your five zone. <laughs> so that's true. Of course. That's so, go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead with your lyrics and flow. I got five my on bad, it. My That's bad, your soundtrack. My bad, my That's bad. your soundtrack right there. You know who's got five on it? <laughs> this guy. G's got five on it. Let me hear about lyrics. So, for me, cool light. I think your feelings is hurt. All right, I'll chill and I'll come to my senses. But next time you diss, Think of the consequences. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Battle rap, yes. Um, killer punchline. But Definitely. yo, that's an 1889 punchline. You know. I know. To a 1989 flow. I know. On a 1989 beat. And I love MC Light. She was. I had a crush on. I had a crush on two girls in the hip hop world when I was a teen, and I went into many, many dates with them. In my head, of course. <laughs> Money Love and MC Light, man. I had many threesomes with both. <laughs> in my head, of course. <laughs> As a young teenager. If you catch my drift. So you wanna hear my, my, my review, guys? Lyrics and flow? Delivery, lyrics, flow. Total perfection. No. Just shut your eyes no. and listen, guys. No. What up, no. what up, what up, son? What up, son? One of the rare feet you will see on the blog. I had to have three quotables. The whole song is dope, but I had to have one quotable for each verse. Verse one, I'm not a procrastinator or an instigator, but when it comes to door primes on the mic, I'm the creator. I never look for trouble, but somehow it finds me, but yo, I just conquer it and leave it all behind. She had a way to say it with an energy and an angriness. I agree with you. In 1989. Verse 2. Who gets the income and then some? I don't diss you for the money, I diss you for the fun. Don't get mad, it's just a talent I was given. What I'm saying, I'm, I'm a slave to the rhythm. Yo. Verse 3. 3? So I rap about funny things or issues that are serious. Sometimes I rap a topic that leaves my people curious. And other times I diss you to put one in their place. If I diss you on wax, then I diss you into your face. She was delving. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, she was dope. And just for a reference, I was like, it doesn't exist for female MCs like this with all this energy, this hunger. Mm -hmm. And I started watching Next Dream's Rhythm and Flow. Rhythm, yo, you people, you the gotta get up show. on that. You know, you gotta get up on that. I was like, ah, would it be good? You know, new days rappers. And then I bumped to when they went on the second episode, the New York editions. New York. With Fat Joe and Moon and, I and saw, Jada Kiss. And I heard this female MC, this Puerto Rican girl, Beans. Oh. Beans got bars, man. She reminded yeah, me of a she young knew. MC Light. She, she was hungry. You felt it. Or present. That was Light in 89. But wait, Beans was a slave. Like Beans is a slave to the rhythm. You know what? So, first of all. We comparing all. the bars, the flow. That's the 2009 version of MC Light from 89. We are, we are a carnation of light into Beans. Beans, enough respect. I'm voting for you, Beans. 
Well, you're gonna lose because I will tell you, there is only one person in that competition that's gonna come on top, and that's my main flawless real talk. I yeah, saw one. That's another issue. One show. Male, female. One prestation. And yo. I ooh, understand. Ooh. But I'm talking about the best female MCs Beans got. So, she first got of it. all, you didn't even tell me your rating yet. Give it a five. The, say, say what now? I give it a five. Come again? Five for light, five for Beans. Oh. I'm true. Delivery lyrics and food, that was the ultimate rating. You know what? Um, I called the doctor and he told me that you have a bad case of the fibroitis. <laughs> the fibroitis is a disease that will only make you give five to anything, nah, even a track from nah. 1989. Nah. Stop reference with the years. A, a good track is a good track forever. Elvis Presley, 30 years later, his song is still considered the greatest. That he so time, people. time is not a factor. It has to be dope, hard, punch, straight to the gutter. That's it for lyrics oh, and flow. Man. Next on the list, next category, we got production. Beat mixing, scratching. So, what you got? I'll let you go. <laughs> so, I will tell you, I really enjoyed the fast paced beat production by P from EPMD. Okay, which I, it was a huge surprise for me when I'm. It's when actually I was doing my PMD. Research. It's actually PMD. PMD. He was Eric and Eric. PMD was Parish Microphone Doctor. Of course. <laughs> and together they were Eric and Parish making dollars. Yes. And we all know this. Nerd. <laughs> um, nice sample from Light's verse from the song Self Destruction. Yep. However, outdated. I can bump to it. See, to me, a true classic, mm -hmm. I can bump to it. I could give it to a 20 year old and he could be like, okay, that's dope. Not like, who's that grandma rapping? Nah. You know? Nah. You have to, you have to that, Production and beat. It's a, it is a dope beat. Again, for 1989, the beat did cannot, will not hold against time. For that, Party people, I give it a humble 3.5. Stingy Ron, as for me. I don't even know where that's going because I could just see it. See, that's just more foreshadowing. An amazing beat by my man PMD, aka Barry Schmidt from the famous dynamic duo EPMD. That's right. We will have many songs on that list with them. You know it, you know it. Originators, these guys. Well, I never knew back then that he produced that beat. I me found neither, out later, neither. like in 2000. I found out when I was doing my research. Me in the late 2000, you know, and I, it was kind of different from the EPMD sound. That's yeah. why it was so dope to Because their beats are really pretty chill. Yeah, that's why it was. That's why I understood why it was so infectious that beat. And uh, what could I say? What can you say? <coughs> You already Can spoke you about the self-destruction part sample. Yeah. The other sample is Can I Get Some Mail by James Brown, an 88 track from J.B. Yeah, okay. A lot and of people, around that time, a lot of people sampled uh, yeah. J.B. The song is about 4 minutes, 19 seconds. And then you have light rapping, spinning, and then light stop rapping at about 2 minutes, 52 seconds, guys. And then from 2 minute 53 until 4 minute 19, you just get a nil beat with a voice saying the immortal three lines. They call me light and I'm a slave to the rhythm. And you hear the beat. Just imagine, close your eyes, listen to it. And then you he keep hearing funky fresh dress to impress ready, ready to, to party. party. Funky, funky fresh, fresh dress to impress to party. party. They call me light and I'm a slave to the rhythm. Yo, it's magical. How could you do? For 1989. Oh, it's a new hymn. 
any cats i dare you to listen to this and tell me it's not fresh so give it a five for production and beat oh. it's an immortal immortal party, song guys party people it's an immortal excuse song excuse him the doctor told me personally that he's been diagnosed with a bad case of the fibroitis okay we are going to re-examine this whole situation it's called player hating okay Relevance, longevity. I'll let you start, Stingy Run. So, first of all, I will tell you this song, the way I see it, it's dope. Okay, we, we, we've all established that. Is it relevant now? Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because that's why at way back when blood we're now. educating the young cats you know, to see what's now. for the relevance, I don't think it is relevant. However, however, I love MC Light, you know, and longevity will reign supreme. By that I mean older cats. Like us uncles and dads, you know, we're gonna mess with life. Still, you know, especially your early stuff. Especially your stuff from a two first album. Cause at a certain point, she kinda like took a, a clubbing yeah. turn with Missy, you know. Yeah. I don't a know pop, about a, that. A pop direction. I don't it know wasn't about the that. same line. It I was okay, some that. some stuff, but Slave to the rhythm. As a hip hop head in his 40s, I will give it a four strictly for longevity for my generation. That's what's up. I agree. Cool. And I get it. Light. You know, we evolve, we change. And her musically, she evolved, she changed. So that's after she went a different route, it changed. But this was the hungry light. She wanted to make her name for herself. The song was sampled in two songs uh, by a group called Mind Self Indulgence in 1999, with a song called Tornado. And this Naughty by Nature, Naughty by Nature in the song Strike Her Nerve, they sampled that song oh, okay. in 91. How many times it was sampled? Twice. Twice? Twice. Because people are already educated about the Gen 1 generation light. A lot of people didn't know, they started knowing light after the Missy, after the third album, you know? Uh, that's where she got known to the broader public. That's a problem. And it's real heads like us that could educate people about the pre-light. Because a lot of that they're doing some of our MCs were known underground or into the black Afro-American culture. But some of them never made the jump to commercial in yeah, the yeah, at the yeah, end of the yeah. 90s, beginning of 2000. That's where some of them died. Their music was lost. Mm -hmm. Example, Raheem, the, oh, you, know, yeah. you know, like the, him, he didn't survive past 89, you know, some of them, not the 2000. So that's where we're here to educate you and bring you back so you could discover things. And also, when she says, don't get mad, it's just a talent I was given. What I'm saying, I'm a slave to the rhythm. That's a straight up diss. It's, don't, it's like, I'm going to diss you, but don't get mad, mad though. Don't know? get mad. It's just the talent I was given. You know, so it's to be such for a woman, not a female, let's say a woman to be such. Sure, and she was in a world where it was macho. Uh, only guys were rapping. There was not much. Her and Roxanne Shanti went through hell, you know, because it was a male dominated yeah, yeah, field. That's true. And of the 90s, it's like, it's like nowadays. Like in the beginning of 2000, a gay rapper or lesbian rapper trying to make it, it was like this back then for a female MC. You could compare the that, the challenges that, and the obstacles, that, you know, labels and stuff. She's a female that, MC. She said, we don't want that. I feel you. I and feel you. white America, the major label that were interested in rap, Roxanne Shanti explained that on a YouTube capsule I was listening. She said it was a competition and they blocked her. She was supposed to win. And yeah. Even Curtis Blow was one of yeah, the judges. Curtis Blow came to her 15 years yeah, later. to say, I'm sorry, because he said at but that it time. But had to be done. Done, because at that time, the major labels, they were like, we're not going to take a girl 
you know, to to invest and everything. So no, no, they had a to. A girl could not represent a. Fi- she was like fifteen or sixteen yeah, she, years she, old. Six years, she could not represent. They would take us not serious. Exactly. The rap, the rap wouldn't be here where, and that's why Roxanne. She said she wasn't mad at Curtis. She explained that I knew it was a sacrifice to be done. I'm okay with where where I am now. She was humble about it, but she understood it was a sacrifice to be done for the hip hop to be where it's at now. Where well, you got Cardi B. Little Kim, uh, Mickey Minaj, you know, they're representing changing the culture and changing white America in general about... Speak your piece, my about, brother. You know? Speak your piece. So that's why I give it a five for relevance and longevity. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hello, 911. Just yes. being true to my emotions ambulance. and reality. Yes, because I have someone who has a terrible case of the fibroitis. He's been diagnosed before, and he just keeps giving five to everything. Props, do respect. Thank you. They, they're coming for your ass. <laughs> all right. So you've been blazing us with fives all day long. It's okay. They're, going, they're coming to get you. You know, they, 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 again, you know how the, the health is, the health uh, system is up in here in Canada. It might be free, but they're going to come and get you. Okay, just handing out fives like that. You should be ashamed, okay? <laughs> respect my judgment, respect my judgment. Now for Powerful Impact. Boom from the cannon. That's a double cannon. A double cannon? Yeah, go ahead. So, on my end, I will tell you impact wa- impact impact wise, uh great track did not top the chart. For a while no, because it, it wasn't was, a single. No, it wasn't it, it wasn't but for a while like that everyone spoke about that album. You know, uh uh, that album has been bootleg, copied. Yeah, for uh, the same two songs, Cha 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 and Cappuccino. Yeah. Um, so, back to our song, Slave to the Rhythm. Um, it had, it did have some type of impact as a battle rap song. Um, however, still, I think it's outdated. You know, it's outdated. And, um... Uh, only cats are rage are gonna bump to it, I'm gonna mess with it. And for that, for impact, I give it a three out of five. Stingy wrong. No, but. real wrong, because I keeps it real. I tells you what it is, how it is, and how it should be. It's like me, the truth shall, shall set you free. So for impact. A lesson in the 40 year of hip hop to all men and mostly rap, women in rap. An example of how you're supposed to come out. And this song will represent 40 years of hip hop to me. And it's an eternal beat, eternal rhyme, eternal rhyme delivery equals no. an ultimate no. status song for Merlin. No. Formula. No. So, no, MC Light, wherever, Mrs. Moore, MC Reconsider. Light, I gotta go with a five. Ah! Impact wise, because after this review, people are gonna go discover that song. They're gonna be like, why this guy gave out five? He's not sick, he's not insane. Yeah, exactly, because you're insane. That's he's a like, hip hop purist. So, he's gonna be like, why this they'll uncle, be like, Uncle G, why where, did Uncle G give? A five to MC Light. They'll be like, this hip hop purist has something. Let me go check it out. Yeah, it's called the Five Varieties. That's what you got. So maybe they'll be Hanging out five. You know? So. Everywhere. Five. It's uh, okay. I called them. I called them. I got my phone right here. They coming to get you. They coming to get you. We might not see you next week. You know? We might. If, they might keep him, party people. Because <laughs> this, this. Has gone to the next level. Yo, they might be rocking slave to the rhythm in the ambulance with me. Don't worry. I really doubt that. They, so, they're going to be like, what's a what? What's an MC light? So, as a recap, originality, 
I give it a five. As for me, I went with a three. That uh, that shit was dope, but outdated. Delivery floor and lyrics, another five. I will give it respect. Maybe not a five, but I'll give it respect. I go with a four. Three verses. Production and beat. PMD did it again. A five. Oh my god. Nice, but outdated. Funky fresh dress to impress, three, ready to party. 3.5. Relevance, longevity. Older cats like me and this five varieties guy. We're gonna bump to it. Pop purist. You know? Give it a five. But no kids, they don't try, they're not trying to hear grandma MC light. Dang. No. I give it a four, and that's just for us. And as a powerful impact, a double cannon, eternal song. A five. Oh my god. A five. A G5. I think it's really bad. We really, really need that ambulance quickly. We are head stuck in here. Impact. I give it a three. Again, dope song. We gonna bump to it. We, I remember when that album came out. I remember when I bought the tape at HMV. But... You should go listen you know, to that album again. As a matter of fact, I did. It. It's dope. For us. Ah, you know. People will discover us. lighter. So, I got a 25 out of 25. Oh my 100%. God. 100%. And this is a nomadic divine intervention status. Party people, I am apologizing for this guy. Okay, I am so sorry. Um, again, he's been <laughs> afflicted with the fibroitis. Um, it will be taken care of. So I would ask you to disregard his crazy, crazy ratings. Okay? Light of shit of brown. You remember my rating was 60%. I'm not sick. Uh, so what was me, your, your it, it, it final verdict? Up, it adds up to a... Solid yet humble. Seventeen point five percent. Damn. For wow. uh seventy percent, who got the props? Light got the props. We support you, true. Light. That's Them pretty kids low. Them kids ain't trying to support MC Light. You know those hipster kids with blue hair and like. Education is up their knowledge. Noses, you Education know? is knowledge. So Help people me. comment. MC Light, we want your comment. Thank Beans you. from Rhythm and Flow, we want your comments. Anyone? So, guys, subscribe. Thanks okay. for watching. We're, I'm gonna take care of that guy. He's, he's a little ill right now. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up for if you liked it. You can always check the podcast on Apple Music and Spotify. And Spotify. So, you just witnessed history, guys. Peace, Peace. and we out. We out.